Hey guys, how you doing? This is Michael from MMA Night and Day, I'm here to bring you guys another gear review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Everlast Power Lock. Now this is the 12 ounce version of the Everlast Power Lock. Uh, looking at the glove, these gloves are very, very nice. I uh, really, really enjoy the color schemes. Um, me, myself, I went ahead and bought two pairs of them. Now, they do have a reputation as far as with Everlast to where, you know, some people tend to call them Neverlast because of the mass production that they do with a lot of the cheaper versions of their products. I mean, they do have some gloves that are out there for 30 bucks and stuff like that. Obviously, if you're going to buy a pair of gloves for $30, they're probably not going to last too long, so granted, that's how you get the name Neverlast. If you go on the Everlast website and you actually look at some of the gloves that they have on there, some of the gloves, uh, you know, kind of the more expensive gloves on the website are very, very good gloves. I mean, I cannot sit here and say that Everlast doesn't have great products. Uh, I have a few pairs of Everlast gloves, and some of them I like really, really, like, a, a whole lot. Uh, now, with the Everlast power locks, uh, these are made in India. Now, one thing that I like about these is when you put your hand in the Everlast power locks, hence the name power lock, it really does keep your hand in place. Uh, very, very good wrist support, which I really like. Uh, you can open your hand to catch shots very easy if you're into catching shots and parrying, which is something that I tend to like to do. These are very good for opening and closing your hand. As far as the aesthetics, like I said, I feel these are really, really nice gloves. I love how they do their color schemes. Uh, as you can see, they have the red on the back hand there. And then the Everlast in the white with the E in blue. And they got the blue thumb right there. Then they do the blue around the piping. Even on the wrist strap. And then the white face. I mean, this is a really, really nice glove aesthetically. Uh, this is probably second to, say, a, a Grant glove, which is, I feel their color schemes are probably the best. Or unless you're doing a custom glove to where you make your own color scheme. But aside from that, as far as like an actual company putting out the gloves, I think that the Power Locks are one of, aesthetically, one of the best. As far as the stitching on these gloves, I'll show you the stitching. Uh, I've been using these a whole lot recently. Now, when it comes to doing mitt work, I like to use, you know, 10 and 12 ounce gloves. Some people like to go heavier and then... You know, later when they drop down, their hand speeds up. But uh, when I'm doing mitt work, I just like to use a lighter glove so I can uh, actually use my speed. And I, this has been my go-to. Now, I do have two pairs of these. Uh, I have these ones as well as I have the white with the black and gold as well. Now, for some reason with the metallics, I always tend to notice that the metallics are usually a little stiffer even with these like you can't really open your hand as good as you can with these ones uh, you can see that opens fairly easy compared to the metallic but as far as the stitching uh, there's pretty good I mean, there is some minor pulls in here that I see, but like I said, I mean, for the amount of times I've been using these gloves and, you know, really lashing into my shots, like right there, you can see, <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen, but anyway, uh, I feel that from some of the reviews saying how they deteriorate so quick and how the padding breaks down and how the stitching comes undone. I mean, I've been using them a lot. Uh, I've probably used these around 50 times, maybe a little more. And they've been holding up pretty well for me, uh, might I say. Now, as far as the hand positioning, I really like the way that my hand feels inside this glove. Uh, they're very, very comfortable. They make a really nice fist. 
One thing, however, this is a little weird. I don't really know how to explain this too much, but the thumb. The thumb looks like a very, very short thumb. Now, I do not have the longest thumbs in the world, but for some reason, uh, my thumb feels okay inside these gloves. It looks very, very short, but when I go ahead and place my hand inside the glove, like it feels like I have some type of space in there, and also like I can move it around a little bit, and it's it doesn't feel like my thumb is poking out of the top, like kind of like how the Everlast MX or the Cleto Reyes gloves are, to where like your thumb's like pressed right against it. For some reason, with these, I feel like I have space in there. It's not like an uncomfortable feeling at all for the thumb, and with such a short thumb, I thought that it would be, but that's not the case here. Uh, my hands feel really good inside your hand wraps. It's not like a really, really, like, tight, tight feeling, but they feel tight enough to where it's, it, it, it's a comfortable tight. The wrist support is phenomenal. I uh, really like the wrist support. The power lock technology is unbelievable. Like I said, aesthetically, they're very nice. You see the power lock right along the thumb there. Then on the inside, they have power lock along the grip bar, very soft grip bar. Choice of champions along the side here, which I feel is a really nice touch. Like I said, I like how they do the blue piping, blue around the thumb, and then the blue thumb, red on the inside, red backhand, white face. The straps are not a really, really long strap. It's long enough to keep your hand in place and, you know, give you... The, wrist support that you need but not ex exceedingly long to where it has to wrap around twice kind of like a, if you ever had a velcro grant glove it kind of wraps around and then you have to do like a second wrap uh, some of the fight fighting sports gloves i believe are like that as well and some of them aren't but nevertheless like i said these are really really nice straps. Uh, it's a three inch strap there. Now the durability of this glove, um, like I said, I've seen a lot of reviews where they say they deteriorate and start to fall apart quickly. That has not been the case with me, but I mean, you can tell that this is not a glove that's going to last years. Uh, but if you do go on the Everlast website, like I said, if you type in right from the start, they'll give you a 15% discount which if they're $100, you can get them for $85, which is not a bad price. Um, but if you put your uh, email in, they do send out a lot. I'm talking a whole lot of, you know, promotions to where they're doing 30% uh, off, 40% off, especially around holidays and stuff like that. So if you can get these gloves for $60, this is an absolute steal for $60. Uh, I would highly recommend buying these. That's pretty much what I did. When they uh, were doing a 40% off promotion, I went ahead and just bought two pairs uh, for 120 bucks. And trust me, like I said, these have been my go-to as far as when I'm doing mitt work and stuff like that. I've really been using these a lot, and I, I really like the way that my hands feel inside these gloves. I like the positioning of my hand. Um, I don't have any type of pain after I'm done using them. Uh, I've been putting a lot of power into my shots when I'm throwing with these, and... Like I said, I mean, so far, everything's been, been phenomenal. Uh, they're really, really comfortable when you have them on. Uh, as far as the price, like I said, the price is really good. Uh, it's just, as far as the durability, that's the main question here. I mean, you could just feel that these might get you a year tops. But for 60 bucks, I mean, that's really not bad. I've seen some gloves out there that you can buy for $60 and they're falling apart within the first five to ten uses. Uh, I'm not going to put any names out there, but trust me, there are some out there that are like that. For the most part, these are holding up pretty well for the price. I mean, if they're $100, there are some gloves out there you can get for $100 that will last a little longer. But I mean, as far as the comfortability level and just the performance of these gloves, uh, I really, really do like them. Like I said, I mean, you can see some minor pulling on the stitching, nothing too crazy. Uh, for the most part, the stitching looks pretty nice. Like I said, these uh, gloves here are made in India. Um, the padding, 
There's a really soft padding, as you can see right there, but it's not too soft to the point to where when you hit, it drives through your hand and starts to leave you with hand pain the next day. That's not the case. Um, like I said, it has a really snug feel. The inside of the glove, I have like a polyester in there. Um, you can see on the inside, stitching on the inside as well. Now, when, when you're done with these, you take them off, you take the wrap off, you let them sit out and dry for a little bit. Uh, they do not take long to dry off at all. Uh, they dry kind of quickly, which is something that I really like about these as well. Uh, like I said, I've been using them a lot and still have no type of smell. Uh, I have not put any type of, you know, glove deodorizers or anything inside of them. And they still smell fairly new. Uh, like I said, aesthetically, it's a really nice glove. Uh, this, aside from, you know, just holding up after time, which, I mean, all gloves tend to deteriorate. It's just some, you know, will last you a few years. Some might not, but you get what you pay for. But overall, I mean, for the price, it's an absolute steal, especially if you're getting them on the Everlast website for, like I said, around 60 bucks. Now, they do have a synthetic version of these gloves that are about half of the price, and they're not that good. I mean, I've... I haven't really used them excessively. I had a pair for maybe about a week. I didn't really like them. I sent them back. Uh, you could tell they weren't the top quality. You could tell they were going to probably fall apart really quick. So I went ahead and sent them back, and Everlast gave me a credit, and I bought a different pair of gloves. But for the most part, um, when it comes to the Everlast Power Lock, I would grade them probably like a B to a B minus. But if you're getting them for $60 or $70, uh, they're definitely like an A-minus range. Uh, very good glove. Very comfortable. So that's pretty much that. Um, if there's any gloves that you guys would like me to review, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Also, if there's any questions, please feel free to leave that in the comment section below. Go ahead and like and subscribe to the channel. And... This is Michael from MMA Night and Day signing out. I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.